What theater? The one goal every single year is Grey Cup, to continue to write a legacy. The chance for a storybook ending. To feed that story, you really feel as if this is it, this is what's supposed to happen. Calgary in its biggest hole of the year. But it's not always the way you want it written. What are we doing? That ball's got to be in my hand. Is that Buckley that they bring Andrew Buckley, in? Buckley yes, is back yes, in the ball yes. game. God f it! Right. F bull man! He wants to throw now, he looks and looks and he's tripped up! I'd find myself asleep at night just hoping it turned out a different way and I wake up a champion. The 2016 Calgary Stampeders were historically dominant. Authors of a nearly perfect story. But the ending was anything but. in Great Cup history. We didn't finish what we need to finish. I stood on the field so I could soak it in. If I want to make myself stomach that feeling, it's possessed me since that. The will to win a championship, man. That's the one thing that's been driving me. We gotta prove that we can win when it counts. If we destroying people, blowing people loud, we don't care. It's all a byproduct of what we really want. Ball stepping up now. Fires a strike, touchdown! What can you say about the Calgary Stampeders? They just keep winning. 11 straight wins leads to another regular season crown. But for the Stamps, the only win that matters is Grey Cup. It's a lot of pent up aggression and frustration. We were the best in the West for a reason. Now we're going to go to finish business. Right now, the horses are running wild. The Western Final. The next chapter in Calgary's season-long quest for redemption. There's a focus and a determination. Desperation, really. This isn't our goal. Our goal is to finish it at the end. The road back to the Grey Cup goes through the Stamps' fiercest rivals. A loaded team on a six-game win streak. Certainly no debating which CFL team is hottest heading into the postseason. It is the Edmonton Eskimos. Boom. That's exactly what's going to happen. When we step on that field, they're going to have to feel us. They're in our way, bro. Ready to get rolling here in Calgary. It's the Eskimos and the Stampeders in the West Final. Hey, make the decision right now. Are we going to do this or not? Don't be denied. Let's go, man. The winner will move on to break up 105 in Ottawa. It's the Battle of Alberta in the Western Final. Let's light this rocket. rocket, rocket. First quarter. Bo Levi Mitchell's offense struggles to find its footing. Black 80. Cut. Massive cut down on a terrific play by Adam Konar. Two and out for the Stamps to start the game. While Calgary stumbles, the CFL's most outstanding player, Mike Riley, and the league's top offense come storming out of the gates. Gable the handoff, kicks it right side. CJ Gable, touchdown! Get your ass in there. F you. Hey, get that focus back. Get that focus back. Let's go. Riley on a roll. 
now shoots wide open. It's going to be an easy touchdown for Darrell Walker. And a stunning start for the Eskimos here in Calgary. AD, let's go. Yeah, bro! <laughs> I think they got very confident from it. We saw them dance on the sidelines. Let them get overhyped. Let them think this game's over. Let's go, we're going to score right now. There's no one else in the world that'd rather have half pressure than Bo. When I step on the field and I'm the guy touching the ball every play, I can lead my team to a win. Blitz coming, got it out of his hands quickly. Markway McDaniel, touchdown. Either you go out there and finish and take care of business and lift that cup, or you know everyone talking about a 11 game win streak during the regular season again. Here's that fly sweep, the speedster, Mark and Michelle, touchdown! Calgary Stampeders are back. Yes, sir! Yes, sir! Let's go! Let's go, baby! And with time winding down in the half, the Stampeders unleash their secret weapon. Look at the acceleration. Cuts it back. Giddy up in the second quarter for Calgary. And the Stampeders have a little swagger back and a lead at the half. As soon as we came in, there was there was no smiles on anybody's faces. We knew we were gonna have to score more points to win that game. In the second half, Calgary's beast in the backfield helps create separation. The big hole up the middle and mess him to the end zone. Touchdown. The mess of Express is back. We're going to hit you in the mouth over and over and over again. Protecting a 15-point lead, the Stampeders' CFL best defense shuts down Edmonton's explosive offense. Pressure on. Riley in trouble, and he is dropped. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. But with the final minutes ticking away in the game, Riley brings the Eskimos back. Riley will plunge for the touchdown. Game on, fourth quarter. Getting down to crunch time. You win, you go to the Grey Cup. You don't, it's garbage bag time. They're going to go for it on third and ten. Riley's got to create here. Throws over the middle, Zilstrick in! Under two minutes to go, trailing by just a touchdown, and with momentum in their favor, Eskimos coach Jason Moss makes a controversial third down decision. What field goal? Hey! Hey! We're kicking, let's go! Kicking a field goal! Field goal! <laughs> I'm a little surprised by this. I am. So it's a four-point game. They're still going to need a touchdown to win. It's a shocking decision, really. They're going to give Bo Levi Mitchell a chance to kill the clock. Let the offense know that they think their defense is better than yeah. you guys. Yeah. Go. Yeah. Hey, that tells y'all what the mindset is. We finish this. Bo Levi Mitchell's offense, a couple of first downs away from a trip to Ottawa. The clock is running. And the Eskimos will have time for one or two plays. Jamil Smith back looking for a big return. Smith drops it, lost it. And does Calgary have it? If they do, they're headed to Ottawa. And yes, the Calgary Stampeders have the football. And the best in the West is headed to the Great Cup. You kind of start to get that feeling as you're looking around thinking, like, hey, man. This could be one of those teams. We're supposed to be back. We expect to be back in the Great Cup. Now we got one more game to win. Hey! Hey, we ain't done yet! We all know we ain't accomplished nothing yet. Alright? We got one week. Let's get it. Let's go. The story ends with the confetti raining down on us. Let's Great Cup our bus for us again.